Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. In this session, we are going to solve a problem about deformation. The question is, the figure shows the 300 millimeters length of the assembly decreases by 0 0.4 millimeters when an axial force is applied by means of rigid end plates. The modulus of elasticity for aluminium and brass are 70 gigapascal and 105 gigapascal respectively. Hint given, total axial force equals to axial force exerted by aluminium plus axial force exerted by brass. Then determine the magnitude of the applied force and determine the corresponding stress in the aluminium shell and brass core. Okay, first, we look at the information given in the question. First, we have length of assembly. So, L equals to 300 millimeters or equals to 0 0.3 meters. And then we have delta equals to negative 0 0.4. Delta equals to negative 0 0.4 millimeters. And this is equals to negative 0 0.0004 meters. And we have axial force applied at ends of rigid plates. So we have the axial force. P. And then we also have the modulus of elasticity. So E aluminium equals to 70 gigapascal. And then we have E brass equals to 105 gigapascal. And then the hint given is a uh, total axial force P equals to axial force exerted by aluminium. So P aluminium plus P brass. We also have the diameter of brass core. So D brass equals to 25 millimeters. And then we have D aluminium outer equals to 60 millimeters and then the aluminium inner equals to 25 millimeters so to find the magnitude of applied force we use the deformation equation since we have delta equals to negative 0 0.0004 meters uh, this delta equals to delta for aluminium and equals to delta for brass. This is because the axial force applied on the top of the bar is the same, which is P. And then uh, negative 0 0.0004 equals to PL over AE for aluminium. This is also negative 0 0.0004 equals to PL over AE for brass. Before that, we have to find the cross-section area of aluminium and cross-section area of brass. So, A aluminium equals to pi D aluminium outer square over 4 minus pi d aluminium inner square over 4. So this is equals to pi times 0 0.06 square over 4 minus pi times 0 0.025 square over 4. And then the cross-sectional area of aluminium is 2.34 times 
times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter square. The cross-sectional area for brass equals to pi d brass square over 4. So this is equals to pi times 0 0.025 square over 4. So cross-sectional area of brass is 4.91 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meter square. Then we can find the internal force of aluminium. So delta is negative 0 0.0004 equals to P aluminium times 0 0.3 for length of the road over 2.34 times 10 to the power of negative 3 for cross-sectional area of aluminium and E for aluminium is 70 gigapascal. So internal force of aluminium equals to negative 218.4 kilonewtons. The negative value of P aluminium represent that P aluminium in compression. And then we calculate the internal force of brass. So delta is negative 0 0.0004 meters equals to P brass times L of brass 0 0.3 meters over cross-sectional area of brass 4.91 times 10 to the power of negative 4 and then elastic modulus of brass is 105 gigapascal so we get the value of p brass equals to negative 68.74 kilonewtons then we can calculate the magnitude of axial force P equals to P aluminium plus P brass. So the axial force is negative 218.4 kilonewtons plus negative 68.74 kilonewtons so this is equals to negative 287.14 kilonewtons so the negative value of p represent that the axial force is in compression the next question is to determine the corresponding stress in the aluminium shell and brass core. So the corresponding stress is the normal stress because the load applied on the road is the axial force. So since we have the axial force is in compression, so the corresponding normal stress will be in compressive stress. So sigma aluminium equals to P aluminium over A aluminium. So this is equals to negative 218.4 kilonewtons over 2.34 times 10 to the power of negative 3. So sigma aluminium equals to negative 93.3 megapascal so the negative value of sigma represent that sigma aluminium is in compressive stress next for sigma brass so sigma brass equals to p brass over a brass so this is equals to negative 68.74 kilonewtons over 4.91 times 10 to the power of negative 4. 
So sigma plus equals to negative 140 megapascal. So the negative value of sigma plus represent that the sigma plus is in compressive stress. So that's all for this session. Thank you.